it was a cold morning, early in the winter May. All the plants, flowers and animals the farm and farm the fields were fast asleep. The rays of dawn appeared. Levita shivered and tried to shake the, the night frost from her leaves. Why was life so over? <laughs> oh, where was me? Ah, Lavinia. What a lovely morning. I'm so glad it's spring. I'm so excited. <laughs> Whatever is the matter, my dear. Stop crying. I'm sorry, Portia. It's just the summer is almost here. Do you know how much I love the winter? Yes, dear. But you must be strong. I suppose so. But I am afraid. I hope it won't be as bad as last year. Do you remember I sat so bad? I almost made myself sick. Remember? How could I forget? I was so embarrassed. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I was so ashamed. It's not your fault you smell like what to me. You were born that way. You have to try to accept it. I can't. It's so awful. Nearly Cecil the scarecrow who ruled the fields was waking up. Uh-oh. Look out. Cecil's up. Oh, what a fine morning, I'd say. It's no one awake yet. Come on now. There is work to be done. Wake up, sleepyheads. A flock of black crows shot out the field and took off into the sky. Get out of here, you old birds. Tell I was asleep. Did you go on? Get away. Try to eat my crop, would you? The sun rose higher and fed, fed them in its pale yellow morning field, and it soon was time for Farmer McCoy to make his daily inspection. He smoked a pipe as he walked. Pumpa. He leaned against the Cecil, tapped out his pipe and kicked the hot back over Cecil's feet, then walked off. Oh, 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 oh. Cecil jumped in pain. What are you looking at? How dare you stare at me? Ouch, ouch, ouch. You over there. What are you looking at? Sorry. Um, I was just... Well, don't. Do you hear? Mind your own business. The lot of you. The sun continued to shine and the temperatures began to rise. The sky turned a bright blue colour and last of the clouds passed by. Lavinia and Portia faded in the light. They were so relaxed they heard... They hear Didn't hear a stranger approach. Ahem, ahem, excuse me. Sorry for interrupting you, but I was wondering if you could tell me where I am. You're, you're, you're in Dublin. Oh, that's wonderful. I've been travelling for weeks now. Splendid. I'm on my way to France. I'm Portia, and this is my cousin Lavinia. Very pleased to meet you. My name's Henry. Nice to meet you. Henry stared at Lavinia. She blushed and bow bowed her head. Would you like to join us for a freshman? Oh, yes, please. I'm very touristy. I've been walking all night. Well, there is a nice pond over here, and the water tastes lovely. Thanks. Lead the way. Ah, I feel better already. Thank you so much. I know I must lie down for a while. Of course. There is a quiet patch over there by the big willow tree. You okay. can sleep there. Well, thank you so much. I will. Henry walked away. Oh dear, what am I going to do? What are you talking about? My scent, Portia. What will Henry think when he gets a whiff of the wheel me? Don't be silly, he likes you. Yeah, but wait until it's afternoon and my scent has filled the field. Don't worry, it will be okay. I'll try to stay cool, stay here with water, and hopefully I won't think too much. Lavinia, your scent is a part of who you are. You can't change that. If he judges you, then he is not a nice person. It's easy for you to say. You always stay fresh and clean and beautiful. Please don't cry. It will be alright. You can hide for the afternoon and just come back in the evening. But what will Henry think? Henry won't think anything. I'll tell him you have gone to visit France. But I don't want to leave. What if he decides to go to France this afternoon and I never see him again? He won't. I'll ask him to stay for tea. Tea? Oh dear. Well, I suppose so. Lavinia walked over to the darkest corner of the field and felt very sorry for herself. Henry w wakes up and goes to farm Porsche. Hello there. I had a great snooze. Did you? Yes. Hey, where's your friend? Hey, well, Lavinia. Yes. Has she gone somewhere? Yes. She is visiting the family. Can we go find her? No, no, I mean, she wants to be alone now. Oh. The sun climbed high in the sky and soon the vineyards were on me stench filled the ears. Oh, yuck, disgusting. Can't stand it a moment longer. The vineyard, you, you really must do something with your body odour. It's sickening. I'm sorry. I can hardly breathe. I can't help it. That's no good, really. You're getting worse. You're becoming a hazard around here. I can't bear it. Lavinia's face crumpled and she tried to stifle herself. Stop, for goodness sake. Crying's not going to help. You must do something at the minute or the garlic points to help you. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Oh, stop.
yourself good stuff. Pull yourself together. I'm having a great time. Thank you so much for looking after me. You're welcome. Perhaps you'll stay here for a few days before I go on the I'd like to if I may. Do you think Lavina wouldn't mind if I sat here with two of you? No, I'm sure she'd be delighted. Time passed and the sun began to sink behind the mountains and the air began to turn colder. Lavinia watched Henry at the distance. His head was tall and strong and both curious. She had never felt like this before. She felt a strange sense of excitement. Cool. Cecil had been so inclined. I'll run away tonight. I'll go tonight when everyone is asleep. When the sky was pitch black, Lavinia set off. She felt terribly along the point. She walked all night, there and stopped at the edge of the forest and lay down and fell into a deep sleep. Back at Farron and Kaya's, before she woke up with a terrible feeling in her stomach, she knew something was wrong. She looked around. Oh dear, where is she? Lavinia, where are you? Come out. Before she called a meeting, the other flowers were anxious and even Cecil seemed a bit cold. Put out. Are you sure that she is gone? Yes, of course I'm sure. When did you last see her? Yesterday morning. Then Henry arrived and I spent the day with him. And she didn't come back last night. And now, and now, I didn't do anything, I mean, I was only telling her the truth. What? What did you do? What did you say? Calm down, I just told her to eat some mint or something. Oh no, how could you be so cruel? You know how sensitive she is. What's the matter? It's Lavinia, she's gone. Lavinia's gone? Where? She ran away and it's all my fault. What did you do? Please tell me, perhaps I can help. So Portia called Henry that Lavinia sent an embarrassing to a That's terrible, I see. Oh dear. Ah, uh, you see, that's why she left. She likes you and she didn't want to be you to be disgusted by herself. Oh no, why didn't she tell me? You could have talked about it. She is shy and she has been laughed at all her life. Oh, this is such a mess. She's gone and we'll never be able to find her. There are lots of us. We can spread out. Think. What are her favourite places? Where would she go at a time like this? This has never happened before. She usually just stays with me and I take care of her. Oh, why didn't she just ask me for help? I would have gone for help. Don't be silly. This is where you live. I don't think she should live. Do you think that if I do, she'll come back? Perhaps. But how do I know? She may be miles from here. Oh no. And so a search party was formed. The plants and animals set out in every direction. Even Cecil was forced to join and he found it. They begrudgingly asked the crows to fly overhead and see if they could see Lavinia. Lavinia was refreshed. She walked deeper and deeper into the forest. The trees were enormous, their branches filled with the sky. She tried to be strong and not seem to do the friends she had left behind. Soon it was my time, she yawned and stretched. Who? Who? Who's there? Who's that? Over here. Lavinia fell a little afraid. Hello, what's your name? My? My name is Lavinia. Hard, I am Milo. You are welcome to rest on one of my branch of the Oh, that's kind of you. But I really shouldn't. I was telling that's half the strangers. I can protect you from the wolves. Wolves? Oh dear. They won't get how many goats from mine. Well, in that case, thank you. I will say. The tree bent the large plant Lavinia climbed onto it. They were unrolled back into the sky. Thank you. Good night, Mr. Dream. Good night. But this time the search party is, is both swing. The sun was sinking and I was getting hard to see. So the fireflies were soon on to light the way. The boards reported that Lavinia had been seen going into the forest. Portia was frightened it, it was a dangerous place. Night fell dark and surrounded them. They were tired, most of the party were torn home. Say it was only Henry and Portia and a handful of fireflies that were Let's rest for the night. It's too dark to see and you're tired. Oh, I can't sleep. I'm sorry about the video. You need to rest. The board say she is safe. safe. We'll find her in the morning. Well, all right then. I am exhausted. Let's sleep here over this nice tree. Thank you, Henry. Good night. Night, night passing. Night passing, the first rays of dawn appeared in the sky. The video lot of yarn and stretched and shook her leaves. She looked down at the forest floor. Portia and Henry, how am I? Shush, not me, is there a red plate last night? Really? How did they find me? The wolves were asking dogs from about you, but don't worry, I didn't tell them you weren't here. Oh, they are my friends, I ran away. Oh, well, I see. And now I'm trapped up here. Perhaps I can sit quietly here and they won't find me. The sun rose and Portia woke. Where am I? Henry, wake up. 
What? Oh, I'm tired. Henry, wake up. I think Lavinia's there. What? I think Lavinia's there. Sniff, can you get it? I, I, sniff, sniff, sniff. Yes, it's her all right, and she's very new. Oh, oh. Well, you see, it's like this. Where are you mumbling, Henry? Get up, we must find Lavinia. Henry stood on two of them again to walk around the tree. It's getting fainter, now stronger, now fainter again. Lavinia, oh, Lavinia, come out, please. Lavinia, it's okay. Lavinia, Lavinia. Henry walked around the tree and then pulled the hook up into the sky. Some caught his eye. He took a step backwards and st st stretched his stalk as far as he could, and then he saw her. He stared, she looked beautiful. His heart left, but he knew he must be careful. He called to Porsche and pointed upwards. Ah, shush, we don't want to fight in her. Lavinia heard the rustling of the leaves and looked down. Oh! Lavinia, come down please, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? No, please go away, leave me alone. Oh, don't cry. It's alright, don't be afraid. But Lavinia didn't move. Huge teardrops rolled down her cheeks and dripped onto her leaves and splashed onto the ground below. Lavinia, I've got something to tell you. A secret of my own. You see, I'm, sh I'm ashamed of myself too. I'm a flower, as you can see. Tall and strong, and everyone says handsome. I am not happy. You see, I I have no sense of smell. I was no help of finding honey or doing any work. That's why I'm going to France to make a new life. Lavinia, I'm just like you. I'm not perfect either. Really? You can't smell? Really? Yes, I'm afraid so. He was a very future. Who would have guessed? A flower that stinks like rotten leaf and a flower with no sense of smell. Perfect. Ha ha ha. Henry and Lavinia smile at each other and a warm glow filled their hearts. Lavinia began to pick up carefully down from the tree. Henry held out his hand to help her. Lavinia jumped from the last branch and Henry caught her in the arms. Let's go home. And they lived happily ever after. The end.